Thanks for coming, everybody. I've called this press conference because I have an important announcement to make. I've decided after all these years to call it a day. That's right. I'm hanging up the site. I will now answer any questions, providing that they don't relate to when and how you die. You want to know that? Go ring the psychic hotline or read some tea leaves or some shit. Jack Smug, Daily Morning Mirror Sun Weekly. What made you decide to retire? No one's scared of me anymore. There's enough boogeymen in the world today spreading fear. Do you mean terrorists, Mr. Death? No, politicians. But you're right. Terrorists too. Where do they get off taking the lives of good, innocent people? That's my job. Surely that can't be all. There must be other reasons. I mean, the war on terror will be over soon, right? <laughs> yeah, right after the cure for death is invented. Well, sure, if I thought about it hard enough, I could come up with other reasons. Petrol ain't cheap, and the deathmobile doesn't run on love. As you know, after reality TV, I'm kind of ashamed to be involved with the human race anyway. By the way, remember that Saxon crybaby from Big Brother? Oh yes, what a hero. I've decided he's going to be my last victim. I've got it all planned out. I'm going to assume the form of an old bag and ask him out on a date. He'll be powerless to resist. Then, we'll go and watch a chick flick where he will start crying and drown in a pool of his own tears. Talk about going out on a high note. Yes, you. Just going back to the terrorist issue, how did you feel after September 11? Jealous. Now it's all about Bin Laden and al -Zakawi. If you don't have a huge beard and ten syllables in your name, you're wasting your time. I don't know why I'd bother. What a bunch of posers anyway, making their lame videos. The only videos I ever start in were private. Unless that chick gets famous. Nigel Yuppie, currently unemployed. When did you come to this decision? Sorry? When did you come to this decision? Huh? When did you decide to retire? When my hearing started to go. <laughs> yes? Cheryl Slag, Action News. Were you happy with the way you were portrayed in the Final Destination movies? Yeah, it was pretty realistic. Except when I kill a group of teenagers, usually they don't all look like models. There's always at least one fatty, or a chick with a face like a busted sausage. Yes, you. Yeah, mate. Mick Jones, ABC News. You copped a lot of flack over the AIDS ad where you're bowling people over with a bowling ball. Mm -hmm. How did that make you feel? How the hell do you think it made me feel? I was as popular as a fart in a spacesuit. But on the bright side, we did so many takes, by the end of it, I was bowling 200 game average every time. I still hold the record for most strikes in a row. Me and the rest of the pinpricks won the Underworld League a record five times in a row after that. Yes. Mr. Reaper, Hugh Jaw, Journalistic Integrity Magazine. Is Elvis still alive? No comment. Wait, on second thoughts, I will comment on that. Get a life, loser. Colin Pratt, Today Tonight. Have you ever been obese, anorexic, a dodgy tradesman, or responsible for high petrol prices? Nope. Yes? Cheryl Slag again. What are your plans for retirement? I'm gonna get a tan, some new threads, and no, they won't be black. Enough with the black. <laughs> How many people have you killed, Mr. Death? Way to bring the mood down, pal. I've been around as long as the human race. My memory ain't that good. Do you remember the first time your mummy breastfed you? She didn't. Well, that explains the attitude. How do you live with yourself? Easy. I don't live. And neither will you if you don't lighten up. One day someone's gonna find you hanging from the rafters in that shocking tie. You criticize terrorists for killing people. But who died and made you king? How dare you play God? This interview is over. One more question, please, Mr. Death. Is there anything you'd like to say to the world? Yes. It's been a pleasure terrorizing you all. But now, I must move where every other old person in the universe moves to. To play lawn balls, drive slowly, and die!